For months now, the U.S. has seen protests against police brutality. Here in Portland, it's especially true with more than 100 nights of demonstrations. So what's it like to work in law enforcement right now? Kate Snow got some answers and she's joining us live now. So Kate, you have a story airing on the Today Show this morning and you talked to police from all over the country, including here in Portland. Yeah, that's right, Brenda. I spoke with your former chief there, Jamie Resch, uh, and a number of other police officers, and also the former chief of Seattle, who you probably know well as well, Carmen Best. Uh, we talked about a lot of things, but we talked about the state of policing right now. All of them said that things have changed dramatically in their time uh, on the force, and that one of the big things is, and this is what something that Assistant Chief Resch said to me, that they now have to do so much many things that weren't traditionally police officer work. They feel like they're getting pulled in a lot of directions. They're getting called all the time uh, for calls that are more like social work calls, calls for people with mental health issues or homeless people. So she talked about that. She also talked specifically about what happened in your city. Um, I asked about the fact that she stepped down and let someone else take over, which is a really unusual thing to do. And she said that when she had a meeting one day and they were sitting at a table with community activists during the protests that were going on in Portland. And she saw, uh, she saw that Lavelle was sort of having a unique um, way of connecting with those community activists. And she said she thought right then in that moment that he was perfect for the job. Take a listen. This is exactly what the city of Portland needs right now. They need somebody who um, is going to devote their entire, the rest of their career towards making sure that the Portland Police Bureau continues to be a leader and change. And Portland's always been a very progressive police department. And it's just one of those moments that you have in your life when you know what the right answer is and you have the right answer. So um, that's why I chose to do that. I don't regret it one bit. Chief Lavelle is fantastic. And I look forward to when he has the opportunity to make some of these changes that we're looking forward to. I asked Assistant Chief Resch also about the defund the police movement, and she and others on the panel said, look, as long as if you take money away from the police, you replace it with programs that can help uh, do the things that the police were doing. So she, she's supportive as long as there is that um, support from uh, other institutions in the city mm -hmm. to take up. Uh, other kinds of calls, like I mentioned before, like mental health or, or people who are homeless, those kind of calls. So some cities have talked about civilian oversight of police. That's actually part of one of the measures up for a vote right here in Portland. How did the officers you talked to respond to an idea like that? So I only was able to ask a few of them about it, and actually I don't think I asked uh, uh, Assistant Chief Resch about that specifically, but generally they're supportive of oversight as long as, um, well, two of the people on our panel were not very supportive, but some of them are supportive as long as there's buy-in from the community, as long as the civilians who are on that oversight board uh, really deeply understand the police. That's what a lot of them said is that they feel like sometimes civilian oversight doesn't work because you bring in people that don't have a deep understanding of how policing mm -hmm. operates. Um, it's, a, it's an interesting conversation. It's a nuanced conversation, and you'll see more of it uh, coming up on today. Absolutely, that is true. Kate Snow, thank you. Again, that report coming up on the Today Show right after sunrise thank at you. 7 o'clock.